right, guys. It is a fantastically gorgeous, overall beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. Soon to be overflowing Crazy Crane Hip Camp. So come see us down here at Crazy Crane Hip Camp down here in this undisclosed swamp on the planet. It is a lovely Thursday morning, March 24th, 2021, and heading up to 91 degrees here in Florida today, and I hear it's going to be 75 degrees at Bugs in a Jar Farm Hip Camp outside of Ithaca, New York here in March. packing my bag shortly so anyway guys you know I, I appreciate the uh, comments and the emails I've been getting about uh, why I have been so missing in action here the past couple of weeks and part of the part of the reason is that that I was out of town although I got back on Sunday and uh, so I have literally been gone, and I have been a little bit under the weather, as it were. But guys, I, I got to tell you, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting doom fatigue. Or am I the only collapsitarian out there right now getting doom fatigue? I was. You know, I've got all of these rants piling up. Good Lord, looking through the file that I could be ranting on. Uh, I guess there's some big mega drought going on in the West again. And uh, hell in the West, there's, there's a mega drought starting right here in the Sunshine State. We've got mega droughts all over the place. We have got some story about uh, the permafrost thawing, the latest uh, environmental disaster that it's uncovering is all of these mines up there uh, that were supposed to be, you know, these abandoned mines where there's billions of tons of planet eating crap. The permafrost was supposed to keep it from ever escaping and leaching into the environment and the <clears throat> all of that stuff starting to crumble and fall. Some article here uh, <clears throat> about these container ships. About the incredible surge in uh, these container ships dumping millions of pounds of crap all over the oceans for whales uh, to choke to death on and stuff. But I do love the number one story on the planet that I have been getting a laugh out of that uh, container ship, that one of the world's biggest container ships completely blocking all traffic in the Suez Canal. They're saying that 30%, 30% of the total trade between Asia and Europe goes through that canal, and 12% of global trade is dependent on the Suez Canal. One boat running up on a sandbank, uh, shutting down 12% of global trade today. So. We do have a few chuckles down here in the Doomosphere watching global industrial civilization collapse because a boat ran up on a sandbar. Uh, but, you know, what else do I have here? Here's one about, I, I guess, the beaches in Lebanon being uh, coated in, in, you know, some oil spill right when the sea turtle nesting season beginning. So we've got that one here. I, mean, I, I could just go on and on with this stuff. Uh, but, but guys, <clears throat> it, it's... I'm not saying that this doomer porn no longer interests me. It's just 
like how many times have I said how many ways can we say we are so doomed? Uh, so I know I'm supposed to be sitting here chronicling the collapse of global industrial civilization, but I guess all you have to do is look at a look at a boat stuck on a sandbar in a canal uh, to understand the collapse of global industrial civilization as of March 24, 2021. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm just really having a hard time rallying myself. Uh, it is an absolutely beautiful spring day. Um, I've got a full hip camp this weekend. I've got people coming in from all over the southeast U.S. Uh, I'm going to be leading this party on a big canoe trip into the swamp tomorrow. Don't know if I can have my manga bay round up because I'm going to be getting out there and enjoying it while I still can. So, uh, I don't know guys, I'm going to be a little spotty here. You're all fatigued. Collapsitarian is just... It just, it just goes on and on until one day it doesn't. Uh, you, you can take any one of these stories. You, you, you know, I, I, look, looking at this Arctic mining story, uh, good Lord, it's just, you, you, you know, the litany of insults against this planet. Uh, there only are left with one conclusion. Humans have to go. Now, of course, if, if humans go tomorrow, you know, all of this crap from all of these Arctic mines is going to be leaching uh, into the uh, ecosystems all over Canada and Russia and Alaska, you know, for centuries, if not millennia, but... You know, our fellow Earthlings are just going to have to deal with it. But as Book Hermit keeps telling us, uh, you know, with every day, every single day that uh, we, you know, we bumble on through, uh, it's going to be that much harder for the fellow, our fellow Earthlings that survive us they're going to have that much more to deal with. Every single day that humans uh, tread this planet, uh, it, it's another, it's just another death knell. It, it, it's this more of the tightening of the noose on uh, every one of our fellow earthlings. Like right down here in this water, you know, there was this otter swimming around yesterday. Well, I come to find out that uh, I need to realize, I need to double check this. According to the folks right here, otters mate for life. So this was this otter couple uh, who have been out here uh, for several years raising babies and stuff. And so last year, the uh, female otter, uh, the mother otter, got run over and killed by a gas sucking car out, uh, out in the road. And so now this otter uh, that I'm seeing is, is this, you know, this lonely, depressed uh, male otter. Uh, I, know, I know how he feels looking for a, you know, looking for a woman in the point lonesome swamp. But it's just a, you know, it's just a perfect microcosm. We can't even have one mated pair of of otters just trying to go about their daily life without a gas sucking car running them over. These airboats are going to be cranking up here tomorrow on this beautiful weekend. You know, I've been warning my campers, all of my canoeing, kayaking campers.
scalpers uh, that they're going to get run over and killed uh, by an airboat. It, it, it just goes on and on and on and on. But that's what a, the chronicler of the collapse of the civilization is supposed to do. But guys, I'm, I'm simply losing steam. Uh, here in the echo chamber of the Doomosphere. I'm sure I will come back around. But uh, for the next few days at least, I've got hip campers to entertain. And uh, I've got canoe trips to lead. And campfires to build. And barbecues to have. And... Uh, gardens to plant. It is another gorgeous spring day on the planet. And uh, I'm going to wrap up this doom and gloom and get back to enjoying this gorgeous planet on this beautiful day while I still can. Before the 91 degree heat kicks in in about another three hours. And guys, I mean, all joking aside, choose canoes over airboats, getting out there and enjoying this, uh, this gift while you still have this gift to enjoy because uh, we're out of here.